Okay, all right. Well, I've been thinking lately about um, a lot of things, um, especially in regards to um, feedback I've had from 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 people about my behaviour and and how I am really. Um, obviously, you know, I don't purposely choose to be a certain way or react a certain way or interpret things a certain way and As I mentioned, <laughs> uh, a close important friendship um, in my life over the last couple of years has been badly affected um, because of this. Okay, it's not 100% my responsibility. I just can't help but reflect of how many friendships. And relationships have been destroyed because of this, okay? Now, it just made me think, really, you know, how, how abuse and neglect can have such a powerful, powerful impact on an individual, even, especially, when you have no memory of that abuse. Because if it's a memory of the abuse, it's a little bit easier to tackle and deal with, you know, because you've got incidents to talk about in therapy and stuff like that. I've no idea <laughs> what number my mum did on me. I don't blame her, because she had a number done on her as well, you know. combination of her childhood and my father <laughs> basically um, and the irony is that none of them have to pay the price I have well my mum paid the price a little bit um, and none of them have taken responsibility for it I've had to do that but clearly what she did you know, completely wired my brain up in such a way that I am like this, you know. As much as I try, as I much hard, how, however hard I try, in the last three or four weeks I've tried really hard to the point where I've been in tears for now an and I've had to call Samaritans because I've just felt so overwhelmed, you know. I'm bad and wrong and I'm I'm bad and I'm a bad person and I'm not good enough, you know. I'll give you an example, okay? So, so what I know about from my care files is the day I was going into um, a nursery, so the day I was being removed from my mother to go into a nursery for three months when I was four years old, my mum is chastising and telling me off because I weren't able to identify these colours, okay, and the, even the social because that was an unreasonable request, expectation of me. Now the context of that is probably that was happening a lot in terms of how she was with me. So my four-year-old self would logically interpret me being taken away from my mum as a consequence of me not being able to identify those colours. You understand? Yes. Logically that's bullshit. But my four-year-old self would not comprehend that when you put in the neglect, being left in my room, not being fed, being out on the streets till three in the morning, 
um, been hit, hit, beaten in public, beaten, chastised, emotionally and mentally abused. All of that taking place before the age of five, wiring my brain in a certain way, then being in care. And not being bullied, but being teased. But because of the framework of the way my brain was set up, that teasing was like bullying, that teasing was like victimization, that teasing was just reinforcing the beliefs that five year old carried. Now, I want more than anything not to carry that. And I do my best. I struggle and I try and I try and I try and I try and. I try and meditate affirmations, everything, CBT, you know, to, to try and reframe that. You know, basically, I'm still paying the price as almost 50 year old guy, still paying the price of that abuse and neglect, you know. And finding a way forward, you know, finding a way to, finding a way to get over that so that I'm healthy and happy and can function would be great. Because as it stands at the moment, I don't feel I've got anything to offer the world whatsoever, you know. Um, it seems whatever I do, people will find the need to give me feedback about how I can improve what I'm doing even though I'm not allowed to do the same to them, you know. Um, you know, things like, you know, the body dysmorphia, the, 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 the drive to push myself to be bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, the fact that um, I do stuff that puts my physical body and health at harm in order to achieve that, you know. You now the fact that I'll go like, my price up it isn't big enough, you know, that kind of thing, you know, and like, <clears throat> it sucks, it really fucking sucks, hugely, massively, you know, that I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder, stroke personality disorder, that I am the way I am because of my childhood, you know, and my formative childhood, the early years, the stuff that is the stuff that is a building box of your personality, the stuff that is the, the mechanics of the computer, basically, you know, the, the basic program within the computer, the, the program that's installed in the factory, not the stuff you add on, enhance your computer, the stuff that's installed by the factory, the basic settings and functions. And, and you know, trying to find a way to minimalize that in terms of my understanding of the world is all I want, you know, so that I can perhaps <laughs> function better as an adult in the future, you know. I'm going to be 50 next year, you know. And I just can't help but think my life has been a waste, basically, you know, of just a waste for the last 50 years. I don't know, you know, but where you go. <laughs>